So hands down, my absolute most favorite deal that I ever did was my first deal. Um, the one that I really cut my teeth on. And it was a tiny clothing company um, in Miami. And uh, I, <laughs> I still laugh about it when I think about it because I reduced my fee to get the, to get the listing. Um, I co-broked it, meaning I split the fee with another broker. I had to pay a referral fee for that listing on top of it. And then I had to pay uh, Transworld. So I think I ended up making like $1,400 and I was just doing cartwheels when we got to the closing table. Um, so I don't know if I've actually made less on another deal since then, but uh, that was absolutely the, the best deal that I've ever done. Here at Transworld, we have so many different types of transactions. Uh, we sell everything from your local doctor's office to your local supermarket. Some of my favorite transactions include uh, a listing and sale that I did of a shrimp farm here in West Palm Beach. That's right, a shrimp farm. Uh, some gentleman growing white tiger shrimp in his backyard, which we listed and sold for a uh, ungodly amount of money for uh, in about 14 days. Uh, some other of my favorite transactions include my international uh, transactions in which uh, I've recently sold a security guard firm down in the Dominican Republic. Uh, it only took six years and um, some uh, government intervention, uh, other international deals that I find uh, uh, quite amusing and, and, and a whole lot of fun are the ones where I have to travel. Uh, I recently sold a uh, photography e-commerce website uh, that was owned by an Italian company. So having to travel to Italy and negotiate with the seller on his own home turf was uh, very intriguing. My most memorable deals at, at Transworld are, are those transactions that have truly changed and affected my, my clients' lives. While I have many examples that, that I probably could, could think about and could probably discuss. Um, I do have one in particular that's especially memorable to me. Four or five years ago, I was hired by a, um, a client, a senior citizen who owned a very successful uh, school and after, um, an after-school uh, tutoring facility and he made it very clear to me in his very first meeting that he was experiencing uh, an end-of-life health issue and he had maybe six months, possibly a year to live. And, and the objective for me was to not only sell his business, but to ensure that he didn't lose any leverage in the process with a buyer that might come along and uh, try to take advantage of the fact that my seller was, was indeed very, very, very ill. We went to market, we found the perfect buyer, and sure enough, my seller's concerns were realized when the buyer, after we signed the contract, tried for, for several months to attempt to renegotiate this agreement and basically try to steal this business from my client. It was then that my role as a business broker kind of transition from, from getting the most amount of money that we could for my client's business to a, a role where I attempted to just keep the leverage on, on an equal ground between my buyer and seller. And we were negotiating the deal right up to the morning of closing. Ultimately, we closed the transaction. My seller was, was very happy three or four days after the the closing, I received a beautiful handwritten note and a, and a little bonus check from him asking me to, to buy a gift for myself because he was so happy with uh, my services and with Transworld. And unfortunately, just three days later, I did get a phone call from his wife. My, my client had gone into the hospital and had passed away. But it's transactions like these that make us understand that sometimes our role as a business broker transcends the, the, the process of just getting a buyer and seller together. Sometimes it's about uh, just doing good deals for good people. So one of the best deals, I consider a, a, a good deal to be where everybody wins, where the seller is happy with the price and the terms of the transaction, where the buyer feels that 
they got everything that they bargained for, uh, where the, all the professionals did their job and everybody came together and worked together and it was a win-win-win for everybody. And of course, something with a nice fee is also, not that I care, my wife cares. So I, I make sure that you know, it has a nice fee in it. About three years ago, uh, we did a transaction, almost three years ago to, to the day. Uh, it was a, a, a nice sized company. Uh, we sold it to a public company. Uh, the transaction was uh, a, around $12 million. And what was great about it is it, it, it took all of my skills and all the skills around us to get it done because we had a public company buyer, we had to get a, uh, a big four accounting firm to do a full audit. We had a large law firms involved on both sides, a lot of problems throughout the entire process. And I was able to come up with creative solutions and everybody worked together to figure out how to get the deal closed and it closed. And three years later, the seller still works for the company. He loves it. There was an earnout. The seller got every penny of the earnout. The buyers love the company. I mean, everybody, it's not only it was good the day it closed, but three years later, everybody is still living it and loving it. And, and, and that was really one of the most satisfying transactions I've ever done. And did I mention it also had a big fee?